through the previously in the brother of earth so you guys are, are trudging through the sand. You see three humanoid figures in tattered clothes, and they're just grabbing at coins that are in the bottom of the boat. His eyes are completely black, and he smiles wider and starts walking towards you. So you cleave down, then his body just dissipates and turns to ash. Above the plateau, you can see like a stone wall, and in the middle of it, you see a giant stone spire. This must be Zomtal. When you get to the top, you see a large stone archway with iron doors. Let's go yeah. into Zomtal. Zomtal! <laughs>
And inside, you see a large collection of buildings. You're basically looking into the city of Zomtal. Directly in front of you is a very wide street, a cobblestone street that basically goes forward all the way to the spire at the center of the city. But the city is is tiered. So there's an expanse of street that leads to a large staircase. And then there's another straight piece of street, staircase street. And it looks like there's four levels of this tiered city. Um, on the level that you're at, you look to your left and right. And there are a bunch of like sandstone buildings that kind of look like they were the stories of these buildings were quickly built on top of each other. So it's just kind of like poor construction. Um, There's flags flying on stringers that are going in between the buildings. There's like weird wooden walkways that are stretching across the alleyways connecting these buildings. On the base level of the street are a bunch of abandoned carts and storefronts that looked like they were like ravaged. Things are knocked down, carts are tipped over. Um, but you don't really see a lot of like objects that were in storefront. There's no like fruit or other items that would be sold. It just seems like everything's abandoned. Um, looking down the main street that reaches to the spire, you can see a bunch of like humanoid looking figures just kind of pacing on this walkway. Um, there seems to be maybe 20 or 30 of them that you can see all the way to the spire. And the spire looks like it's maybe about half a mile away. Um, up this tiered staircase street combo. But there's no one near us? There's not anyone no, directly see. in front of you can, that you can see. Um, also, like if when you look to your left and right and see these alleyways that are stretching with these um, like buildings and carts and stuff, you kind of lose perspective because this is a circular city. Um, like You can see the buildings and stuff, but the pathway kind of disappears as it curves off into the distance. Sounds like Anguishine. Sounds That's like dead. what? <laughs> It's the city in France that Chris and I went to. Basically, imagine the the city that uh, Belle lives in in Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I would yeah. say it's I like the <laughs> look of the buildings and stuff is more like like Agrabah, like Aladdin. I was thinking mm. Agrabah actually. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like a good place for parkour. Let's go. Can we just parkour our way to the spire? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Should we? Head towards the spire. I, I'm I'm a little worried that everyone we're gonna meet is gonna be zombies. Just gonna throw that mm. out there. Uh, we have only seen zombies thus far. <laughs> Should we yeah. b- build a big wooden horse and then roll through the gates? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little little late for that. We walk. We run back out. Wait, <laughs> I forgot my horse. <laughs> yeah, I guess let's uh let's head on out. Yeah. All right. So. Basically, in this first tier down the street, it's going to be um, like about an eighth of a mile to the first set of stairs that leads up. And dividing each tier is like a like defensive wall. So there's kind of like the one entrance up the stairs to continue along the main path. And then you can see like walls dividing it. And in in the eighth of a mile between you and the staircase, there are shops lining the sides of this main street, and there are humanoid figures walking and pacing around those areas. Hmm. Should we go try to talk to someone? That seems like a good plot point. I'd be down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the The closest figure is probably 100 feet in front of you. I want to go talk to him or her. Okay, so uh, you start walking towards the figure. Uh, So you start closing in on it, and you get to be about 30 feet away, and the figure turns to look at you, and you see the same dark, void, black Uh, eyes and smile of the people in the fisherman boat, and the figure looks at you and tilts its head and smiles and starts running towards you. Looks like someone got to the Trojan horse idea before we did. (laughs) Raided the city. Oh. (laughs) Like Trojan horse their bodies? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's a smaller person inside this bigger person. (laughs) Uh, I take take a couple pieces of gold and throw them away from me. Okay. 
you do that. Uh, roll an athletics check to see how far you can throw these pieces of gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <my> got <God. laughs> uh, 11. Okay. So you're able to I'm throw the gold like, <laughs> like 20 feet and it falls and clanks to the ground. And you see the figure run up and stop and sort of collects the gold and puts it in its pockets. And then it stands up and looks at you and like seems to be eyeing your, your great axe um, that's glimmering behind you. And it continues running at you. Hmm. So uh, roll right. initiative. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I only slowed him down. And now you have less gold. Four, five, uh, six. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling strong. Good start. Okay. So the zombie runs up to Orc and uh, takes like a clawed hand and tries to hit you. Um, what's your AC, Orc? Uh, 17. 17? Jeez. Okay, so it tries to reach out and swipe at you, and it kind of stumbles over the cobblestones of the road and misses you and stumbles past you. And as it does, uh-huh. it like turns its head and is eyeing uh, your great axe. All right, so next is Puff. There's only one of them? Yeah, there's only one of them. Oh, okay. There's other ones in the distance, though, right? There's other ones in the distance, yeah, but they don't seem to be... Oh, so we're not like right we're now. not we're only in battle with one. Yes, exactly. Um, I think I'm gonna use Crown of Madness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which, if there's no one else in battle, maybe he'll just like stand there, right for the tippity top. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he'll just sit there. <laughs> yeah. With All his right, shiny cool. crown and get hit. <laughs> uh, so he has to succeed on a Wisdom saving throw. Okay. This looks like a wise zombie. Oh, oh yeah. This works. Like a- <laughs> uh, it definitely fails. There is no way that is a success. <laughs> okay. Well, he's mad now. Yeah. <laughs> he's more mad than he was. Crown of <laughs> anger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a madness glows in its eyes. Yeah. <laughs> no longer dark but, voids. But it's, it's just voids. <laughs> a little ember glowing in the void. <laughs> So the target can act normally nice. on its turn if you choose no creature or if there is none. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Or if none are within reach. <laughs> Read the spells. <laughs> yeah, the target can act normally on its turn if you choose no creature or if none are within reach. Oh. <laughs> well, so now he's just, just got a, a crown nice now. crown. <laughs> <laughs> you just clothed it. <laughs> Thanks, I feel pretty. He takes a moment to look himself zombie. up and down. Yeah, <laughs> you deserve to be treated like a king, <laughs> king zombie. <laughs> All right. Well, he's uh, he has a crown, and we'll I, play that now out. Now we're like fighting that. royalty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Puff quickly looks down at his cheat sheet and reads the rest of his spells so he doesn't fuck up the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I just okay. made the connection between Zomtal and Zombie. I oh. honestly did not think of that. Maybe there's really? going to be a giant zombie later. You know, Zom-tall. the tallest of all the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zomtal. <laughs> but it's <laughs> reverse like, noun adjective yeah. kind like, of language. You really should have seen that coming. <laughs> like My Zom- creativity works in very obvious ways. <laughs> this one is now Zom King. Zom yeah. Crown. <laughs> Sound crown. Sound crown of Dom. And Paul. next we're going to the city of Lake Poop. What yeah. could be there? <laughs> no. Oh, it's poop again. <laughs> All right. Um, so next is Orc. All right. I want to try what I wanted to do last time. I want to take something that the zombie will like. While while the other guys were taking their turns, I tied a couple pieces of gold. To the end of my javelin on a string. So they're dangling down. And I want to stab that javelin into the zombie so that it's got like a bone on a stick in front of it. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Like stick and carrot with gold? Stick and carrot, but yeah. on itself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. That's how you usually do it. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> It's like, yeah, if you just hand it a stick with a carrot, it, it'll just eat the carrot. <laughs> this like, doesn't work. Hmm, I'm missing something here. Yeah. What's missing? All right. So, what are you? What are you? How are you going to tie the gold to the javelin? What do you have to do that? Uh, Don't you have like uh, 200 feet of hemp rope? Yeah, but is that going to be able to tie gold? Oh, with, I don't know. You could you could quickly weave know. a basket. To put the gold. <laughs> you, That'll take what a turn takes. Yeah. Just take your loincloth off and oh, <laughs> please make, make a little hobo pouch and <laughs> a little gold diapy. Yeah. I'm gonna take a string from uh, Yenry's uh, harp or whatever he has. Wait, don't do that. I, I need those. Just take his. That's whole like harp. the source of all his magic. I have I have like a bedroll and common clothes. Like, does any of that just include some sort of like drawstring? Uh, well, I common clothes. I would say, yeah, there could be some ties on that, or if you were to like rip fabric off of that. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. So I'm gonna say this is gonna take your entire turn to do because it's gonna take like an object interaction to like take your clothes out and rip a piece, and then also a bit to tie. Like each turn, the six right. seconds. So that's gonna take your entire turn. All right, well, you guys distract the zombie. I got a plan, if you didn't hear it. <laughs> oh, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Yenry, you're next. All right, well, in the meantime, I guess I'll just make an, an ash gash in his ass. And... <laughs> <laughs> so, an ass ash gash? An ash gash. Ash gash bagash. <laughs> so I'll take out my rapier and just try to slice him. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, make that attack roll. Okay. Gash that. Ash? It's not I don't great. Like that. Uh, Dead that's, ash. Uh, <laughs> that's a nine. <laughs> All right. So you take your rapier and you <laughs> shove it through his torso, and it goes straight through, and you pull it out, and some, oh, some nice. ash. Or I guess, sorry, you, you poke his ass, I guess? Yeah, yeah. I'm going for the ass. <laughs> Yeah, you, you yeah. poke him in a little ash sprays out. Okay. Ash sprays <laughs> yeah. out of his ash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, roll for damage. Oh, right. That's a thing. Uh, oh, shit. That is an 11. Whoa. All right. Nice work. Thanks. All right, so next wow. next is the zombie. Um, Because the zombie has nothing in reach... <laughs> Uh, it attacks Orc again. <laughs> so it turns around and tries to claw tries. you again. Um, and this time it hits. And so it takes its claw and it puts a nice big gash in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and it does. Why is everyone going for the ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Precedent has been set. <laughs> All right, so and an, you ass take, an, ass. Yeah. an ass for an ass. Yeah. Makes the whole you world. Take, <laughs> makes the whole world what? <laughs> an ass? Assless? I don't know. Ass. <laughs> it's not a well thought through proverb. No. <laughs> you know what they say? An ass for an ass makes the whole world assless. Like, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do yeah. they say that? Who says that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, you take six points of slashing damage. Ow! In the ass. ass. He slashed an ash gash in his ass? <laughs> God, I can't wait for this battle to be over. This is terrible. <laughs> All right, next is Puff. Okay. I'm going to use enlarge on his <laughs> ass. <laughs> so you have a bigger time. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go <laughs> I'm gonna use magic missile but still on his ass okay. <laughs> obviously and that does that okay yeah roll for damage two three five uh eight eight total okay he's uh looking pretty gashed at this point damn my he's, he's got a lot of ash flying off of him. So, uh, Orc, you are next. All right, I is my spear ready? Yes, your spear is ready. 
I'm going to spear him or her. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. All right. So this, Gender this inclusivity is... when talking about spearing zombies is yeah. <laughs> very important. You're a true hero, Chris. <laughs> All right, um, so this is going to be an attack, so roll for damage with that. Because you said you're, like, sticking the spear, like, into it, right? Yes. Okay. I guess I I, I should make (laughs) you roll uh, actually to hit. That would make more sense, because this is an attack. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't know why I was like, yeah, that just happens. (laughs) There's no rules in this. 17. Okay, yeah, it, it goes into his chest. And then the damage, that's a six. Okay. So you take your javelin with this gold, like, string sack on the end and shove it into the zombie's chest, and it explodes in a poof of ash and falls to the ground. (laughs) You guys. Sorry. It was a great plan, Orc. We can save that for next one, though. (laughs) We made too large. I put a little bit too much panache on that <laughs> ash gash <gashin. laughs> too much panache on the ash gash <laughs> I like that they, uh, that particular like arrangement of weapon is what actually did it though it's like yeah. ca- causation <laughs> versus <laughs> yeah right so it's like wait so if there's gold on my weapons that's how we kill these things yeah. <laughs> a spear would try that from on now on <laughs> You, you stuff it in their chest, it your chest, it causes a paradox, and they're like, I can't chase myself, and they explode. <laughs> and they just reach inside their own, and just like, ball up into a <laughs> it just black disappears hole into a black hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys figured out the puzzle. That's, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Orc is severely disappointed that the spear, <laughs> I just imagined, he, he shoves the spear in, he's all excited to see what happens, and the it just poofs away and the spear falls on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Sort of Covered in ash. <laughs> like, God, that's so clever. <laughs> I want to I find another one. Where's the next closest zombie? <laughs> I mean, there's another one, like another like 100 feet or like 150 feet in front of you. Do you guys mind if I... There, uh, there's a few. Just you, keep... you, can see, like, you can see like three more like up in that direction. What I'm hoping will happen is... I'll point it towards the spire, and it'll start running, trying to get the gold, and then every zombie in the city will start chasing that zombie, and we'll just follow them all to the spire. And then we'll have to deal with hundreds of zombies all in the center of the city. Oh, so sweet. That's not a good idea. <laughs> Let's just surround the thing we're trying to get to. <laughs> <laughs> good. Now it's surrounded so, in zombies. <laughs> maybe they'll... Perfect. <laughs> maybe they'll Another keep running. Another case closed. <laughs> Maybe they'll keep running and they'll all just lemmings off the edge of the cliff. Yeah, they climb the Maybe. spire and then just jump off. Yeah, just make sure you get no. the pole super straight and there's no angle on it because then he'll just go into a circle and just <laughs> circle the tower. That's also good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, there's a there's a wall at the top of the stairs, isn't there? I mean, not a wall like closing off the top of the stairs, but the stairs is surrounded on either side by walls. So it's kind of like oh, okay. a, a gateway into the next tiered area. Gotcha. I'm going to run up to the, another zombie and try again. Okay. So there are there are three like in the distance that you can see. <laughs> All right. I go for one of them. And okay. yet he's like, wait, or uh, I mean, it's clever, but like, do we really want to <laughs> engage with like three zombies? What's what's your plan? Uh, are, are there like alleyways? I, I'm honestly going back to this parkour idea. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like rather than fighting our way through like 50 zombies, maybe we can just like take to the roofs. <laughs> well, we Fine. could do that. I'll <laughs> I'll save this for later then. Yeah, let's take to the roof tops. <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. No, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> he is tall and excited kid. He can't go play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, go go, go do your thing. <laughs> So I I imagine I imagine that these are like former citizens of Zomtal that have been like virused in some way and were probably just murdering people. It's a good point. Yeah, it's possible. But I still want to do it. I'm not murdering <laughs> one again. No, I mean, we've murdered <laughs> only, before. 
Only once he wakes up and has a pole in his heart will he be, <laughs> will he be murdered. Me heart. <laughs> yeah, true. Until then, he's still yeah. half dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I go to the three zombies and try to quickly just jab one of them in the chest. With okay. My concoction, with my device. So ex- explain how you approach them. I uh, take large striding steps. Uh, <laughs> like he's, you're skipping to them? <laughs> <laughs> with glee? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stab a zombie. And I, <laughs> and I wave right. my arms in the air and I hold my spear and I go, gah, and shove it in his chest. All right, so they're like 150 feet away. So you start running as you're describing, and you're running down this main street. And as you do, um, two zombie or two oh, like fuck. zombie figures run out of the alleyways on either side of you and start running towards you. And the oh, three in front of you also start seeing you and start running towards you. So there's <laughs> two kind of coming out of the alleyways as you're running up the street running from the left and right, and then the three in front of you start approaching as well. All right. What is there one that's closer to me? Uh, I would say the one on your right that came out of the alleyway is the closest to you. All right. Then I spin right, and I run towards him or her. Okay. And uh, You're going to have to roll initiative for this because this will be combat. Are we all, all right. in? I mean, yeah, you're technically in combat as well, even though you're farther away. I say Orc is like 60 feet in front of you. Ugh, I got a three. I have to wait forever to do my plan. Six, 15, 15. Okay. Eight, no, nine. Man, we we must, we would be really bad at spinners, though. Sorry. <laughs> as a group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Yenry, you're first. <laughs> oh, great. Um... <laughs> Is there an alley to the side of me? Yeah, yeah, there is. You're you're kind of at the you're at the entrance still. So like the main alleyway that's kind of propped up against the main uh like garrison wall of the city is like to your left and right. So it's oh, less the- of an alley and is more of like the one of the main concentric streets. Gotcha. Um huh. I going to go try to climb a building. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, if, if there are any, like, uh, shop fronts or carts that are tipped over that make it a little easier to maybe, like, you know, hop up yeah, a couple roll times. Yeah, roll a perception check. Cool. 18. Okay, awesome. So you look to your left, and one thing you notice is that there is one that seems like there's sort of a switchbacking staircase that leads up the garrison wall. Um. Yeah. Uh, to like on, on the side of like the main wall for the city, and then you also see um, some like large wooden poles that are leaned up against a building, um, like near a shop front that looks like it has a bunch of like wooden furniture and stuff. And that the poles are like ten feet tall and go up towards like a sort of ripped awning. Okay, and they're angled, mm-hmm. Lean, leaning. Okay, I'll go try to climb up those guys and see if I can get up on the top of this building, or at least onto, like, the front awning and try to weasel my way up to the top. Okay. So I'll say that those are 30 feet away from you, so you can run there and then use your, like, dash to try and climb these things. Okay. So uh, roll an athletics check. Okay. Oh, that's not so bad. That's a 10. Okay. So you hop on this pole and kind of put your feet against the pole and your arms kind of like you're like a monkey climbing a tree and you shake really aggressively and you like (laughs) barely get your way to the top um, and are able to stand on top of this uh, like awning at the top of it. And there is like a window like five feet above you, but that's going to use your full, your full movement to do that. Okay. Guys, I got the high ground. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, are you still able to use a spell? No. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Is that because of your turn or the, or because you don't want to? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's because of my turn. I yeah. dashed, so I lost ability to do anything else. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. All right, so Puff, you are next. Hey, one one quick thing. Did we... Like, would our spell slots have regenerated... 
Since you guys have time. not taken a long rest in a I, while. Do we ever do that? I don't no, we don't have spell <laughs> slots. I don't know what you're you, talking you about. You haven't <laughs> needed you really haven't needed to yet, but you guys have been like out doing stuff for like a while. Yeah. Do you have a way? I guess it would probably take a spell slot. Oh wait, ah, Do you have a I, way no, do you have a way to hide my axe? Oh. Hide your axe? Hide your ass? Yeah, they've been eyeing they've been eyeing <laughs> hide your ass. Yeah. Hide, hide my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them poking it anymore. I can hu- I can it. like hug you from behind. <laughs> <laughs> we can't attack them. They're spooning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can I forgot. I can use my sorcery points to get back a spell slot. Oh, Does that count as anything like a move? I don't think so. All right. Uh I'm going to use a sorcery point to get back a spell slot. And then I'm going to use Spider Climb on myself and just Mario in Super Mario World run up <laughs> the building to where Yenry is. Okay. <laughs> so you use Spider Climb. So you're going to be able to run 30 feet. So you're basically going to be able to run, th- use the spell, run 30 feet to the base of the building. And next turn, you'll be able to continue that. Good luck, Orc. <laughs> All Thank right, you. it's the zombies' turns. So, um, right zombie <clears throat> runs at you. He's 30 feet away, so he's going to run at you and slash at you. And uh, just like first zombie, he's kind of clumsy on these cobblestones and goes and tries to slash at you, but just kind of runs into you and looks up at you with his big weird grin and tilts his head <laughs> and starts making this weird laughing sound as he's, like, fumbling mm-hmm. at you. Um Left zombie is going to dash and make his way all the way to you, um, but doesn't attack you. And then the three in front of you dash and run 60 feet. So they're like 30 feet away from you now. Oh, God. I hope this works. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now it's Orc's turn. I, <laughs> I'm going to stab right zombie in the chest with my spear. My jacket. Okay. Do it. 14. Okay. So you take your javelin and shove it into the chest of this zombie, and it sticks through, and there's a little explosion of ash as it like punctures his chest. And you see his eyes widen a little bit and start to try and reach for the gold at the end of the javelin. Right. Uh, and so I also next- rolled a. Uh, Eight damage. Or Eight no. damage? Okay, uh, cool. Sorry. Thank you. Seven damage. Perfect. And can I also, when I stuck it in, sort of like point the zombie towards the stairs? Yeah, I'll say that you can like push it in, and when you let go, you kind of throw it to spin him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I dig that. So next is Yenry. Um... I guess, yeah, I'll, I'll try to climb up to the top of the building uh, if I can get the rest of the way up there. Okay. Um, yeah, there's like a, there's a window like five feet above this awning. But then other than that, it's like kind of like smooth, like stucco building wall. Oh. So you can try okay. and jump up into the window and pull yourself up. Um, all right, I'll try to climb up to the window then. Okay. Uh, roll an athletics check. So that is an 18. 18? Okay, with your little stubby legs, you're able to jump up and grab the windowsill and pull (laughs) yourself inside. Uh, So when you get inside, it looks like you're in a bedroom of sorts. There's like um, hay on the ground to your left with like a burlap sack looking blanket just laying on top. Uh, You see like a table over in the corner that's kind of tossed down. Um, it just looks like the whole place has been kind of turned upside down and there's a door at the end of this room that leads out into what appears to be a hallway. Okay. Do I still have movement speed? Uh, you do. Yes. Okay. I'll run out into the hallway. Okay. So you run out into the hallway and, um, you're kind of outside at this point to a certain extent. You're like on a boardwalk that's above an alleyway. Um, that, but it takes up like the entire stretch of the alleyway. So you can see the clouds above you and some other boardwalks and some stringed flags. And at the end, you see like a wooden ladder that moves up to the next level. Okay. Yeah. I'll run down to the ladder then. 
Okay. So your feet pitter patter on this boardwalk and you run to the ladder and you're able to get a few feet up the ladder uh, before you run out of movement speed. Pitter patter. Let's mm-hmm. get ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> cool. Okay. So Puff, it is your turn. All right. I'm going to climb up the wall with using my spider climb to get up to where uh, Yenry is. Okay. Or so, near, however far I can get. Yeah, with 60 feet of movement, you're going to be able to get to the top of this building. Oh. Well, I guess I'll go to the top then. And then can I still cast a spell? Uh, if you go the full 60 feet, you will not be able to cast a spell. That'll be your, wow. your movement and a dash action. Thinking about maybe I'll just go halfway up mm-hmm. and just stand on the side of the building and then turn around and cast Minor <laughs> Illusion to make a small pile of gold somewhere not near orc okay to try to lead awesome. the zombies away what's the what's the range of that spell oh it's only 30 feet well i could cast it at the bottom of the building right i just went 30 feet up yeah to paint the scene of what's happening here orc has just turned the zombie to run away from all of you guys oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I should stop just like telling you guys information like Sorry. that because I kind of just want you to run into chaos. I should but know what's going on. <laughs> it should make you just roll an intelligence check to see if you understand the strategy of this situation. <laughs> <laughs> be a crit we're fail doing every constantly. time. <laughs> yeah. In real life, we're doing that constantly. <laughs> yeah. In our brains. I'm yeah. gonna start doing but, that for sure. But every for side sure. of the dice is like a one. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Roll a D one. You fail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will run to the top. Cool. Uh when you run to the top, um run roll a perception check. Six. Eight, sorry. Eight? Okay. So you look around um, and you at first here just notice that like you're surrounded by other buildings and there's kind of different heights of buildings around you, but there are a lot of flat surfaces on the tops of these buildings and you, you can see pretty far just around. There's like a bunch of buildings like this. You can see some boardwalks below you um, and to your left, you can see that there is the top of the wall of the city and you can like see out into the sand sea. And there's some like objects lining the uh, like garrison wall. So does it look like it's jumpable between these things, between these buildings? Uh, not from you to the wall, but from you to other buildings. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, zombies turn. So gold zombie is now entranced by this little collection of gold that's at the end of his spear. So being turned around. He starts running, trying to grab it. And the um, other zombie that's near you, Orc, starts running towards him as well. And he's like 10 feet behind him. And so all of these zombies kind of run and they basically meet about 30 feet like north of you towards the castle and they start just ripping each other apart trying to get this gold <laughs> oh shit and so oh no and so they start attacking each other and one by one they kind of start turning to ash and then one finally pockets the gold and he's sort of facing the other direction of you guys and he starts running towards the spire hmm weird and so you're you're out okay. of combat now. Oh, nice, sweet. Well, that sort of did what I wanted it to. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. And your javelin okay. is laying about thirty feet away. <laughs> okay. So are are the boys above me on the buildings next to me? Yep. <laughs> I'll go. I'll just go up where they are. Okay. I can drop gonna... a rope to you, if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, if there's not an easy way for me to get up there. I don't know. Can I <laughs> just walk over there? Yeah. I mean, so you walk over to the building, and there's the storefront in front. Um, there is a door that leads into the building, and then there's a small alleyway behind these buildings, and that's where, like, Yenry is. Like, you look up, and you can see the boardwalks that are crisscrossing this alleyway, and he's on the ladder climbing up. Like, I guess there right. might just be stairs. 
inside. <laughs> yeah, if I go in, if I go inside, there's probably stairs, right? <laughs> or zombies. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, stair so- zombies. <laughs> Strombies. Zombies. Stare. Stare. Strombolies. <laughs> it's, it's a Stromp- bunch of strombolies. <laughs> oh, and wonderful. you're famished. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I'll take the rope. I'm scared of zombies. Okay. All right. I will drop you my rope and okay. tie it off on uh something sturdy. <laughs> okay. I would say there's like uh, wood pillars that are like support structures for where the stucco was poured. So you can tie it off to Convenient. one of those wooden poles. Um, you'll just have to roll an athletics check to make sure you can climb all the way up with the rope. That is a 16. Okay. Yeah. You, you climb it no problem. You're like Batman in the old Batman TV show, just easily <laughs> climbing up the side of a building. <laughs> I'm walking on a, a flat building while the camera's rotated. Exactly, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you, you make your way to the top and you join uh, Puff. And uh, roll a perception check when you get up there. Huh, well, that is a seven. Seven? Okay, you don't see anything past what Puff saw. <laughs> you see Puff. You're like, oh, hey, Puff. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Did I you see all these buildings? <laughs> We're on top of a building. <laughs> Stop looking at me. I'm staring at you. <laughs> Vigorous eye contact. Does Yenri make it up I'm the perceiving. ladder? Yeah. So Yenri, you climb up the ladder and there's kind of a there's an array of these like boardwalks and ladders, and you're able to make your way to the top as well. And uh ro- roll a perception check once you get up there and join your comrades. That's a crit twenty. Ooh, okay. So you look around you yourself and um to your left, you see the garrison wall and these objects I was explaining earlier. They look like like giant crossbows on the top of the uh, main wall that surrounds the city. Uh, to your right, you can see a little bit over the next tiered wall of the city. And there seems to be some dust uh, raising up from in there. And you can't see a ton of what's in there, but there's not like any buildings in this second tier. Um, it seems more flat and you can't quite see enough over the wall to see into it. But there looks like there's dust that's rising up as if something is moving inside of it and causing the dust to kick up. Hmm. Okay. Then I say, Hark, a commotion. <laughs> Should we go towards it? Yeah. Are are these buildings we, that we're standing on now like level uh rooftops basically from here towards the wall? Uh it's like stair steppy and there's some larger gaps between buildings. Um like in between you and the next building towards the spire, it's maybe like a ten foot gap. Oh god. Um <laughs> and then yeah, it kind of differs from there. So if we if we all stack on Orc's shoulders and then tip forward. Mm-hmm. And the, <laughs> at the end grabs onto the next yeah. building. <laughs> that sounds like a solid plan. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I'm going to say the gap is five feet because I was picturing this as like a narrow alleyway um, yeah. between you and this first building. But I mean, there's a lot of yeah buildings. buildings that are in between you and the the final wall. Well, yeah, let's parkour our way over to the dusty place. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it's like an eighth of a mile for, between you and the next wall. <laughs> That's pretty uh, far. <laughs> it's pretty far. I, I feel like Yenry should just get on Orc's back. That's what I was or, both, or both of us should. <laughs> Orc, how you feeling? <laughs> sure, let's try it. Parkour with people. Piggyback parkour. Yeah. Piggyback parkour. So... You're you're gonna be like encumbered with both of them on your back. You're not uh, gonna be moving so well. Uh, <laughs> Puff, That's a good idea. <laughs> how many spells do you have left, and how much does enlarge cost you? Oh, I could do that. I can just use another uh, sorcery point, so I can use that on Yenri. On me? No, please. No. Oh, no, you want to use on it on orc? orc? Yes. Thank, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> much better idea. <laughs> So then he probably won't be encumbered with us on his back. Okay, yeah. Orc, <laughs> I make you large. <laughs> All Twice right. your size. And I think it's like eight times your weight. Yeah, we might crush <laughs> the building. Crush the building. It's all right, though. <laughs> I get to be uh, 
Godzilla. Orkzilla. Orkzilla. <laughs> okay, bibbity bobbity big. <laughs> 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 oh my god <laughs> yeah i'm gonna like say a... that you're gonna be you're gonna be big enough to like carry two people and be able to um pretty much step over most of these things so you're gonna have like a 10 foot like reach with your legs so this oh, lasts oh, for oh, one oh, oh. minute <laughs> one minute all right <laughs> yeah Run really fast. Cover yeah. some ground. It'll be the fastest eighth mile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's not too well, bad not for that eighth fast. mile. <laughs> yeah, it, if right. he's twice his size. Okay. Well, and he's yeah, gigantic. Right. So. <laughs> ready, set, go! I grab you okay. and start ready, running. Set, big. <laughs> roll, roll an athletics check, orc. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. So you you. Uh, Pick up Puff and Yenry and put them like on your shoulders or whatever. You're gonna be able to get um almost to the retaining wall of the second tier. All right, I sling them both over my shoulder, one over each shoulder, hold them down, and I hurdle the buildings. I sprint and hurdle. <laughs> All right, so you do that, and there's large crushing sounds as you like hit the rooftops of each building. And they shake a bit, and you see some like a lot of dust carrying off. And so you're you're running and jumping over all these buildings, parkouring like a champion. And you feel yourself starting to shrink again as you're like a couple buildings away from the main retaining wall that leads into the second tier. And so, like, yeah, two buildings before the wall, you shrink back to normal size, and you all collapse on the rooftop of this building. Let's go again. Let's go again. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep doing it. <laughs> so like at this retaining wall, you can see it's like there's it's another like garrison wall. And you can see that the wall is maybe 15 feet above the building height. Um, and there are some like w like watchtower looking things that are spaced periodically on this wall. You can all still see the dust that seems to be rising behind this wall and you can also kind of hear like a, a consistent like rumbling noise on the other side um and also roll a roll a perception check Six. 14 13 okay yenry and orc you also hear like running water um it kind of sounds like it's coming from the bottom of the wall but you also hear it from on the other side of the wall hmm Yenry suddenly has to pee. <laughs> Can we go peek over the wall? I don't know how we do that. Didn't he say it was like 15 feet above us? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Should use the immovable rob. Go Tie on. Tie a rope to it. Tie a rope to my immovable rod. I'll throw it 15 feet or 20 feet in the air towards the wall, and then you use your mage hand to push the button and make it stick oh oh shit okay <laughs> damn i'm impressed all right all that's, right, all right. that's some teamwork yeah uh, <laughs> wow I, you, you don't even have to throw it i can just lift it with the mage hand if you want but oh yeah i was go. gonna Do be that. so smug and saying that you have to press a button to engage it but you've thought all of that through damn oh, yeah <laughs> damn <laughs> uh I am not worthy. Uh, <laughs> how how far is it? Okay, so my mage hand can go 30 feet. Is that within range? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, you'll you'll have to hop onto the next building. Walk right. over to okay. the... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we just got to hop it's one only building. A, then... It's only a five-foot gap, so if you're crossing everyone, just roll an athletics check. Cool. All right. Do it. Whew. 19. 22. <laughs> Nine. Okay, so <laughs> you all, <laughs> Orc and Puff, you, you gracefully just kind of leap over it like it's nothing. Yenry, you jump and kind of just grab with both of your arms on the ledge, and you, you pull yourself up and <laughs> wipe the Scampers. dust off yourself. Good. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all that being carried really tired me out. <laughs> okay. Mage hand, all activate. Right. Immovable Rob, activate. 
I'm calling it immovable Rob. Rob, I immovable Rob. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll call Mage Hand the movable Rob, and he'll. <laughs> 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 All right, so the movable Rob carries the immovable Rob up to the top of the spire. <laughs> and when you do that, you, you click the button and the immovable rod sticks into place in midair. And uh, the rope is hanging down the, the wall onto the building. All right, let's nice. climb it. All right, everyone roll an athletics check. Oh, 17. Crit 20. 21. Nice. You guys are easily able to scale the rope up the side of this wall, and you find yourselves at the top of this this second retaining wall in the inner part of the city. Uh, In front of you, you see that this whole second tier seems like a large, like, concentric ring of gardens, um, or what used to be gardens. So it looks like everything has decayed and died, but you see, like, the skeletons of, like, flowering plants what looks like may have been fruit trees and palm trees there's like stone archways and fountains that are lining certain areas it looks like it used to be like a very very ornate like park or garden set that encompassed this entire ring um and it's another i mean it's it's wide too it's like another eighth of a mile with this ring so the the fountains you see a bunch of fountains and stuff it looks like it's spewing like black liquid um, it doesn't look like normal water. It's more like tar-like. Um, and you also notice that there's these like dirt lines that are running through the gardens that look raised, almost like like gophers were digging through it. And there's one in front of you where you can see that there's something actively digging and creating one of these dirt trails. And that's what's kicking up all the dirt. And that seems to just be crisscrossing and running through these dead gardens. Do I see any of those giant crossbow things along this garrison wall oh not this garrison wall no just the outer one okay (laughs) can you give me my rob back (laughs) yeah you 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 can take your rob back (laughs) i said do we want to go investigate the black water uh i mean yeah but drink it gotta consider uh mold dangers (laughs) true (laughs) but yeah we can go for it all right i guess we gotta get down we want to immovable rod it back down or, or just tie off a rope, I yeah, guess. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do it. I want to just like jump and click it and just then keep let it go it. and click it again <laughs> and just keep clicking my way down. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's you like guys the, can't get down. So you can, oh, fly, we can hold on with of. you. <laughs> it's like a reverse, like, what is it called? The, the fish ladder from Ninja Warrior. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> it's falling with style. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like if Mary Poppins was falling her umbrella and doing it really stutter steppy. <laughs> Stop motion Mary Poppins. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. you could you could hold it like that. <laughs> like the end of an umbrella. <laughs> more likely to slip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. <laughs> Just it's more for the effect. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to be Mary Poppins. All right. Yeah, let's let's just do the same rope trick and slide down. Okay. Okay. You guys are able to do that. You stick the rope on the immovable rod and go down, and you're able to use your mage hand to unclick it at the bottom and bring the immovable rod back to you. So standing at the bottom, uh, you're kind of in an area of dead grass, and you see a lot more of that like, like ember and ash rising from this area. And you're like standing on what what looked to be grass and kind of when you jumped on it just kind of crumbled beneath your feet and turned to ash um Mm. directly in front of you you see a large ornate like water fountain feature and it has like similar looking uh figures that were carved into the plateau that's holding the city like holding up bowls of this fountain and there's four tiers of the fountain and kind of like a ornate like spiry looking thing it kind of looks like the city and there's this sludgy water overflowing on the fountains uh the water is pouring into like kind of a a river that is running towards you guys to the wall that you just jumped down and flowing into like an iron grate that's um set into the garrison wall and then pours off into nothingness um other than that you see a lot of trees um, and again, like a hundred feet in front of you, you see this burrowing thing that's like making its way back and forth. 
Can I kneel down by the river and sniff it? Okay. You uh, sniff it and it just, it smells like, like decay. Like uh, what you, you think like death would smell like. It just kind of smells <laughs> dirty and rotten um, and not, not necessarily clean. Yeah. Like when you forgot you had a box of lettuce in the fridge and then you find it <laughs> like a week later and you're like, oh no, <laughs> it smells real bad. <laughs> smells like that dirty lettuce yeah so i probably shouldn't drink it (laughs) maybe start with like touching it (laughs) go straight for the mouth (laughs) yeah (laughs) i kind of want to use firebolt on it (laughs) try to ignite it yes Mm -hmm. i'm down i'm not opposed all right i do that i use firebolt on it okay you uh you do that and uh hold on are we all gonna <laughs> die <laughs> the so world explodes <laughs> you you do that and um the like oily substance does look like it catches fire and it's sort of like when there's the surface of gasoline that catches fire it's like the fire's kind of floating on top and it runs to the left and right and runs to the fountain and the fountain erupts in this flash of fire and you see all this ash and ember go up and there's constantly oil like filtering out of the top of this fountain so it's just like this solar flare now like shooting out of the fountain and you see the other side the fire goes into the grate and disappears and you start hearing like a rumbling and everything kind of goes quiet for like a minute oh no but then you start to see smoke erupting from different parts of the city <gasps> oh, and, oh shit. like you just start seeing like fire flares come up from the other fountains <laughs> that you can see in the distance and smoke starts to cover the city just rising up from everywhere and like way to the right side or the east side of the city you see a giant fireball go up like in the middle of the residential first tier and it's just constantly going up and then in front of you in the third tier you see several fire spires go up as well and then under the main spire you see like fire erupt on either side of that and that's just kind of covered in like a tornado of fire now um the building doesn't seem to fall but there seems to be this like yeah tornado of fire that's like kind of rising up from the outsides of it and spinning up towards the clouds in the sky (laughs) and it's starting to feel like pretty hot around you guys too this was a bad idea (laughs) it was definitely a bad idea yeah (laughs) we just made a fire spire the well i made a fire spire this was a volatile city. Yeah, the uh, the gopher mound that you see in front of you, you see that like sprint off into the distance and like dig underground, and everything is like kind of rumbling, and you hear these like sp- the fire kind of erupting from these areas. Um, but other than that, you're not seeing a whole lot of activity anymore. Um, like you don't see the gopher things. You don't see like zombies oh. running around near you. Well, I solved the gopher problem. Oh, it was a good idea. <laughs> Just gonna be a big torch in the middle of this desert. I don't yes, know that it's a good sign, though, that all life is running away from this particular <laughs> yes. spot. And then the spire well, just sense. lifts off and has a giant jet behind it and <laughs> takes off into the sky. <laughs> you made, you rocket ships rocket away. Ships. <laughs> yeah, and it's gone. Yep. Well, if there was any hope of uh, of resurrecting this city, I don't know. If- <laughs> That's mm-hmm. happening anymore. Just burn it to the ground. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oops. Oh, huh, I wonder if that's oil. It is oil. <laughs> <laughs> you can't turn off your magic fire, can you? Uh, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you just created. I don't think it's magic fire. I think the magic makes just fire. Just fire. It fire. just is fire. Yeah. <laughs> Use so magic your magic fireball fire. <laughs> as you as you guys are watching this, you see the fountain in front of you sort of explode. Like this fire oh, gets fuck. more intense, and the fountain just bursts apart. And some of this oil starts to bubble and spill, and oh, starts to overflow the river. Oh, we might uh, want to. That's in front of you. Move. Should we run? 
Yeah, we should probably run. Yeah, let's we're just sitting, we're just like sitting here marveling at it while it's just getting hotter. Like, wow, mm-hmm. fire pillars, what a thing! <laughs> cool. <laughs> Got fire guys. I was thinking as you as you used your spell, I was like, are we stand? We should probably not stand next to this while you do this. <laughs> too late. Run. That's we fine. run. Run fast towards the spire. Okay. So you guys start running uh, t- over the gardens, kind of back towards the main like thoroughfare that's leading up to the spire. And you're sprinting, and you start to see some of the other fountains in the distance do the same thing, like suddenly explode in a burst of fire and spray like this oily, fiery ash everywhere. And as the oil that explodes out of these things as it hits like the dead trees and stuff the trees like easily fall over and dissipate into ash and a lot of the skeletons of the bushes start to do the same thing they're just exploding in puffs of ash as the stone from the fountains and the oil kind of hits them from these explosions and so you start to run towards the uh retaining wall and the staircase and you reach the staircase that's leading up to the next tier And as you do, you see that there is oil starting to pour into the streets of this third area. This is the first time in this game that I am contemplating my mortality. (laughs) (laughs) But you've died twice. (laughs) I went unconscious twice. I feel closer to death than when I was dead. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, because you just created hell. (laughs) Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were already in a fiery wasteland covered in zombies, and now you just lit it in more fire everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I will say, it was cleared by all parties <laughs> yeah, for we me to down. light this shit on fire. <laughs> it sounded fun. I just we didn't think about the whole thing being interconnected. <laughs> nope, no, we did okay. not. I was like, yeah. cool, yeah, light light the fountain on fire. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> oh wait, it's probably coming from somewhere. <laughs> oh wait, there's a fuse leading to the center of this entire city. <laughs> okay, so there's oil coming uh, at us. <laughs> it's it's starting to flow into it seems like the street that you're on is like the low point, so it's pouring out of a few grates that are in front of you into the center of the street and starting to run down towards the staircase. It's moving pretty slowly, so um, but you can see this in a, like a few areas around you. Like at the top of the staircase, you're basically standing, and there's some like much larger ornate buildings that look like they were are much much better built than like the buildings you had in the first tier. And the streets are a lot wider here. So you have the main street that's still running up to the spire, and then there seems to be another big main concentric street that kind of divides those buildings from another set of ornate buildings that are built up into the last wall before the spire and these are really ornate looking with like what looks like they maybe had some sort of metal like roofing and stuff but that's all been peeled away and so the roofs are now open to the sky okay well we can at least get up into this next city yeah so you're yeah. you're already like at the top of the stairs in this third tier city oh sorry. and okay. the oil is so starting to, to fall down the stairs to... to the last tier need to get to higher ground or run around yeah, yeah, the outside of the outside of this circle, just circumvent. I'm down, the, I'm down with climb that. the wall again. See what's on the other side. It's like run to the left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys start to run to the left along this area, and again, you're you're surrounded by a lot of buildings that look more ornate. Ornate, and as you sprint, you see a few other areas where there's oil starting to bubble out, and it's all kind of running in these like down the streets, but also in trenches on either side of the street towards where you had just come. Um, You see a few other like fire pillars erupting in this area. And after making it a few hundred feet, you hear a big explosion to your left. And one of the buildings erupts in fire and like explodes and uh, roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh God. (laughs) I have, I have danger sense with advantage on, things i can see yep that i will nice. that definitely counts here 11 14 21 so 
the building explodes next to you and there's just basically a bunch of stone and oil that explodes over in your direction and you all just barely miss as the the stones fly past you and crash into the buildings to your right um and make it through this area and that building just crumbles to the ground and you see just fiery oil bubbling up underneath it and start to run back towards the main street um so you you go a ways farther and you finally reach um another big wall this seems to like dead end here um into a wall that seems to be dividing you from uh the other side of the circle we so did not think this through because like if if all the water was oil and cities have plumbing we're just like what if all of the water was fire <laughs> 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 that's how most great civilizations met their demise yeah <laughs> what if what water was idea. fire what if this was fire <laughs> yeah <laughs> turns out not a good idea <laughs> not interchangeable <laughs> when will we learn <laughs> <laughs> at least you got rid of the gopher yeah I say good job pup. <laughs> <laughs> that's like if someone has termites and you light their house on fire <laughs> <laughs> well, no more no termites. More. <laughs> no more house either. Oh, I see. You have a gopher problem. <laughs> How about I light your city on fire? <laughs> <laughs> problem solved. I've seen this before. <laughs> a, I have a 100% success rate. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Well, shit. How tall is this wall? How tall is the wall? It's about 60 feet. 60. And it's basically connecting the walls of like the third and fourth tier. Like it's running perpendicular to those. Does that make uh, sense? It basically is just crossing the street that you're in. Like the street you're in dead ended into this wall, and that wall runs connecting the like concentric walls. Uh, is there a building close enough to the wall that we can go on top of the building and then go the rest of the way up the wall? Yeah, yeah, there's some tiers to this building. Right. We go in the building too and just let's try to climb the stairs, I guess. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can go in the building and run up to the top. Okay. So you guys uh there's a series of buildings on your right, and the the one that's like kind of at the end of this pathway um has a really ornate like steel door. And you guys open it up and look inside, and you're in an area that's with like very intricate tile work, and it's very like white and clean compared to a lot of the other stuff that you've seen there's still some ember and ash rising up but it seems fairly untouched um there's some like white pillars that you see too and there's a doorway at the end that looks like it goes out into a hallway and there's also a doorway on your right that leads into like the next building um but it's just kind of like a big open tile area that's kind of like a foyer well it's Split quickly and check both doors and see if we see stairs. Yeah? Yeah, I'm down to go to the, the hallway. Sounds promising. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll check the other one. So uh, you, you go to the door to the right, and Orc, you look in there, and you you see like what looks like a kitchen, but it's, again, in total disarray. There's stuff thrown everywhere. It doesn't look like there's any food left. It's just broken dishes and wooden bowls and things of that nature. Um. You go forward through the foyer, though, and through the other door, and you see a, like, marble spiral staircase that's leading up. I found the stairs! Yes. Let's take that. And not the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try the faucet really quick? Oh, wait. Did I find the stairs? <laughs> <Someone passed. laughs> you want to try the faucet quick? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> There's no faucet. Okay. It's not that intense of plumbing. fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hot and cold both seem to be pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. We're all out of cold. Cold. cold water. Really. It's like it's not like if there's like a bathroom in here, it's like, yeah, don't don't use the toilet, it's out of order. <laughs> Toilet's out of yeah. order. <laughs> anyway, drape yeah, an out of order sign on the bathroom door. <laughs> if you open out up the order. lid of the toilet, it's just a fire <laughs> tornado. Another fire tornado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tiny fire tornado. It's like Gateway a fire bidet. <laughs> fire oh, bidet. Oh, God. No. <laughs> not something that should exist. <laughs> a fire bidet? 
I was gonna say if you forget <laughs> what just happened and then you run up to grab a drink out of the faucet. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right let's run up the marble staircase all right, let's, yeah all right so you you guys start sprinting up the marble staircase and it seems to go up for like 50 or 60 feet and when you reach the top you come out into this area that's like a big circular rotunda and you emerge out of the top and it's a full like white tile floor and you see a figure sitting cross-legged in the middle of this circular tiled room. And he's just like, yeah, sitting there cross-legged looking down. Uh, he seems to be wearing long blue robes and has a bunch of white hair. Uh, oh. And once you do that, he sits there for just a moment as you reach the top of the staircase and then raises his head very abruptly and looks at you. And he has one black voidless eye, but the other eye looks like just a normal eye that's blind. And he stares in your direction and just says, Stay away! And he shakes and sort of, like, tries to move away from you. Uh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> Who are you? And he, uh, once you say that, he stops for a second and, like, looks around confused and then looks in your direction and be like, Am I, am I going mad? You speak the common tongue. We do. We're pretty surprised to hear you speak it, to be honest. As, as you say that, you see him, like, his head shake a little bit and, like, a big smile starts to cross his face and then he shakes out of it. And, like, starts, like, weeping a little bit. And he's like, It's been so long since I've heard words from anyone. I've just been living in darkness for so long. How... How did you get here? How are you not turned? How are you not turned? You look like you're fighting off whatever's turned this city into zombies. I honestly don't know how long it's been. I've been trying to dispel the magic that's turned the city into darkness, that's turned its inhabitants into the undead. The greed that's overtaken the city, I've just... I've fought it for so long, just waiting for salvation or death. Hmm. Should we tell him about the fire? Yeah, I was gonna say it's probably probably closer to that second one. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the the greed that overtook the city also overtook your plumbing, and everything's a little on fire now. <laughs> uh, we didn't here, do that. It's just on fire. <laughs> I take out my and, water skin and and toss it to him and say, "You probably haven't had anything to drink in a long time. Take a sip." And he, you throw it at him. He grabs. It, he's like. I appreciate your kindness, but I don't require sustenance. Oh. And he just kind of, he puts it down and he says, But please do tell me that you're here to end the darkness. That's the hope. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's sitting there and he, he just looks around and he's like, The rumbling, the city, I can feel it deteriorating. Mm -hmm. There isn't much time. What is your name, sir? My name is Mordo. Mordo. I was the king's hand so long ago before the darkness came. And I've been hiding here ever since, just trying to survive, trying to find a way to dispel the darkness. Well, we have a feeling that the way to dispel the darkness lies somewhere in that spire in the center of this whole city. Do you know any better way to get there than through the streets of oily fire that now have overtaken everything? It's like, it's been so long, my memory isn't what it used to be. I don't remember how the city, how the city was built. But I know that there was a gate to the spire in front, but other than that, I cannot help you, and I'm so sorry. Somebody slap him. Jog his memory. <laughs> Mordo, do you know anything about 
the talisman of darkness. I've never heard of the words the talisman of darkness, but I can only imagine that an object such as that, which sounds powerful, must be the reason that we were encapsulated in the shroud. I don't even know how long ago. It could be hundreds, it could be thousands of years. A winged figure dropped onto the spire of our city, and with it came the darkness. Our town was always so wealthy, so prosperous, that once the figure landed, the entire city erupted into a fit of greed and rage. The people turned, attacking each other, trying to collect everything of value and bring it back to the spire, back to this figure that landed. And once that happened, the clouds surrounded us and darkness fell. And we've been in this state ever since. Those that survived the original attacks, the original rampage of the city, now just wander in a state of living dead. But whatever that figure is that landed, it still dwells in the spire. And I can only imagine that it might have this talisman that you, you say you seek. Well, we're going to head for that tower, because we have to try to stop this thing. You're welcome to come with us if you are, are, you know, can walk. If you're up to it, please come along. You might have some valuable information for us. I, I may be feeble, but I still have some might left in me. I will lend my assistance where I can. Heck yeah. <laughs> Plus one to the party. <laughs> is there a way to your roof, Mordau? It's like, yes. There is, if we go onto the outside of this rotunda, there is a walkway that leads around this circular part of the building. Um, from there, we can overlook the rest of the city. And uh, as he says that, he, he kind of stands up feebly and he has a little like walking cane and he props himself up and kind of sh- shakes and stands there. And he starts walking towards the doorway that leads out to the, uh, the walkway of this rotunda. He just says, follow me. All right. We follow, follow him. him. This man is not going to be able to climb 30 feet of rope, but no. <laughs> but I appreciate the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we follow him. Okay. So you come to the outside of this rotunda and you step out of sort of this, the white pure area that you were in back into like these blackened buildings with the ash and embers rising off of them. And he just stands there kind of looking at the spire and you can see in fact that there is this ring of fire that's sort of encapsulating it and he just sort of holds his hand out and he sees like oh, i see it's worse than i thought this really is a predicament <laughs> this is a new development yeah. <laughs> recent this is one. the most interesting thing he's seen in years yeah. <laughs> surprise he's like If you're able to get me close enough, I might be able to dispel the fire. Oh, okay. What? Close Close enough to the spire or the fire? The spire fire. (laughs) (laughs) We we, we can get you close to fire anywhere. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We're already close to fire. (laughs) You'll always be close to fire. (laughs) Here on out. Okay. All right. Well, should we... Use the old uh, immovable Rob, immovable Rob. Yeah, let's do it. I think that'll be our go-to now. Let's yeah, do so that this, to get up on the wall. Somebody get yeah, this, this, put ro- this man on their back. This Poor rotunda, man. like the top level you're at, is like overlooking the next um, wall. And you can see down in to like the last tier. Like you're kind of looking at the spire. You're pretty close to it. And surrounding the spire is just a bunch of like cobblestones. Like it's just a big open area of cobblestones uh, that surrounds the the main spire. Oh, but are we high enough now? We could just like hop to the next wall or hop down to the next wall? Yeah, you could hop down to the top of the next Ah. wall, but then you're still like 60 feet in the air. Gotcha. From the bottom. Okay. Mordo, you want to climb on this big man's back? Like, I will try. <laughs> and he, like, feebly walks over to Orc and just kind of puts his arms around his waist and then just kind of slides down <laughs> to the floor. 
<laughs> or like, uh, maybe duck down for him. <laughs> help, the help good him try, out. buddy. I require assistance. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, I'll, I mean, bring I'll Grandpa sling him along. over my... I'll, I'll, I'll gently sling him over my shoulder. I'm just kind of worried about, like, he's half zombie. Just don't don't turn and... Just nibbles on your ear. ass while you're <laughs> on my back. Make sure your face has good side towards you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not his zombie side. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I sling him over my shoulder and hop down. All right. It, it feels like you sling, like, a bag of bones across your shoulders. <laughs> you. So, uh, I'll put him on my... I'll, I'll piggyback him like a uh, Yoda. Yeah. He'll be my Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Just put him in your backpack. Add Mordow to your yeah. inventory. <laughs> <laughs> you have a feeble half zombie man now. I will name him Fancy Fish. <laughs> <laughs> I already have a name. <laughs> You're Fancy Fish now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Fancy fish, meet fancy fish. <laughs> it's like, what a demotion. <laughs> Mordow, could I ask, do you have any idea what has kept you uh, sane all these years? What has kept you from turning? It's like I've just fallen into a state of deep meditation and concentration, but I've barely oh, hung on. We're probably ruining that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hang in there. We, you just got to last a little longer, and maybe we can save this place together. I would very much like that. Please, make haste. All right, we make All haste. Right, so, <laughs> should we climb? Should we, you know what we yeah, should, should we do? Down? How far is it do? from this wall to the spire? Uh, Maybe like 200 feet. Never mind. That's too much rope. Uh, I wanted to zip line. Swing? It's just, just oh, zip, zip line, line into the fire. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> but he has to. We just have to get him close, and then he can put out the fire so. <laughs> mid zip line. Mm -hmm. it's like okay, bugs into a bug zapper. <laughs> <laughs> you save the day. It's all poof, <laughs> and the game's over. <laughs> that close. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we should, we should just hop down and get more down near the fire, right? Well, we need to just do something to get down because it's 60 feet. You can't just hop 60 feet. <laughs> well, we can just, we have 50 feet of rope. We can do the same old trick. True. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Drop yeah. the rope. So we set up our rod contraption and slide on down. Okay. We dropped into a burning spire of fire. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Orc, roll an athletics check. Why? <laughs> Doth thou question the DM? Uh, 16. 16. 16. Okay. You're able to successfully climb down this rope to 50 feet and reach the bottom with Mordo on your shoulders. Um, right. And you're, you're both safe at the bottom. Uh, so I will say, if you guys all climb down here, like this is 60 feet above you, and your mage hand can only reach 30 feet to grab the immovable rod. Mm. Uh. <sighs> Well, can I sit at 30 feet and then do the the click and then re-click, click and re-click <laughs> to inch it down the rest of the way? Right. So do that and roll an athletics check. <laughs> okay. That is a nine. Okay. <laughs> so you, you try to do that and you click it and unclick it. And when you click it the second time after it falls a little bit, it creates a jolt, and you lose your grip, and you fall 30 feet to the ground. Oh, yes. Oh, and that's you like a back-breaking <laughs> distance. <laughs> and you take 13 points of falling damage. Oh, God. Are you wow. dead? No, but I'm low on health. <laughs> Just croaks on the cobblestone. <laughs> ah! uh, it didn't Ouch! work. I want to go pick up the broken Yenry. So, so it's Orc, you I lost your Rob. <laughs> so, did, did, are you too far away now to get my rod back? 
I'm broken on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like fifty it's like fifty feet above you, the rob. But the rope's still attached to it. Yeah, so I, I guess I need to just climb back up there and get it. <laughs> so what are right, you gonna do? Gotta... Are you gonna climb to the top and undo it? Yeah, I'm gonna do, try right. to do what he did with the mage hand. I'll put more down. Right. Roll roll an athletics check. Seventeen. Okay, so you're able to climb to the top and grab the immovable rod, and then you you stutter step down all the way to the ground and successfully nice. make it back with the rob. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. So now you guys, it's feeling hot down here. You guys are basically in like a giant convection oven, uh, just surrounded by flames, uh, and it's like two hundred feet in front of you. You can see the spire. All right, Mordo. Take do care that, of that fire. Do that thing that you said you could do. <laughs> okay. So you you walk with Mordo up into the fire, and you're you f you're feeling really really hot. And um, so as hot you're right walking now. towards it, Orc, <laughs> Orc, roll a Constitution saving throw if you're the one who's carrying Mordo. All right. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so you're you're feeling hot and terrible, but you're Always able to like hot. bust through. Yeah, so hot, and you're able to carry him towards. And you can see him starting to break a little bit, like he's shaking a little bit, and like a smile is crossing his face. And as you're carrying him, he says, "Put me down, put me down now. I don't have much time left." All right, I put him down. All right, so he he crumples to the cobblestones a little bit, and then stands up on his feet and holds his hands out and he yells a few magical words at it and you see his entire body shake and then this explosion of wind comes out of his hand and rushes towards the spire and you see this like white wind sort of engulf the fire of the spire and extinguishes it and then falls back to the ground and there's this sort of white cloudy ring that now surrounds the spire and he says quickly you must run into the spire i can't hold this for long i'm only holding the fire back all right i we run towards the spire we'll run thank you Mordo. thanks Mordo. it's like no time <laughs> run <laughs> and so he sits there shaking and um you guys start sprinting to the other side of the circle and it takes you like a good minute and you can see that the white smoke is like dissipating as you're running around and you see the door of the spire and these like black steps leading up to the door and you start running up and the smoke starts to dissipate and you see bursts of fire starting to come out of the smoke that surrounds it and as you run up the steps into the door you see that the white smoke flies away and a big spurt of fire comes up right around you as you run into the door into the darkness. <laughs> Mordo's probably a zombie now. Bye, Mordo. That's on you, Puff. <laughs> Took care of the mole problem. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's the last that. line. That's the last line of this episode. Yeah. I hope it's just like, <laughs> got the mole problem. the mole problem. <laughs> that was the only way to get rid of moles. <laughs> yeah. You solved his mole puzzle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> solved your mole puzzle. Ha, ha, ha.